Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics. And today's prehab is gonna show you how to stretch it out. Recently, I've had quite a few skaters emailing me looking for my best stretches or cool down routine. And I'm so glad that people are emailing me these questions because it's a great question and it's so important to stretch out properly after you work out. I like to think about this as flexibility training instead of stretching or cooling down um, because that makes uh, it helps people feel like they're being productive instead of just doing something that they're supposed to do. Ugh, no one likes that. So if we work on our flexibility training after our workouts, it's going to help us out in the long run and it's going to help us feel a lot better the next day as well if we've done a hard workout. This is a cool down routine designed specifically for after an off skate training workout. So the type of workout that you would do with me uh, in any of my free uh, training videos or in any of my training programs. If you are an all-star subscriber, then you should be watching the full length version of this because you're gonna get a, a real time follow along. And if you do not know what it is to be an all-star subscriber, then I recommend you go to this link and find out because being an all-star you get uh, full-length videos for all these um, free videos that I put out you get um, downloadable PDFs of the exercises you get a weekly workout in your email nutrition content a whole bunch of stuff so I'll leave it to you to go and research it for yourself email me anytime with questions I'm BQ at rollerderbyathletics.com all right, with that, we are going to go straight into our off-skate workout cool down. Before we begin, it's important to note that you should hold each of these stretches for at least 30 seconds each side. So I'm gonna use my phone to time, and you should too. All right, so the first one I wanna do is a chest opener. I want you to lift your elbow up to 90 degrees, so your elbow is the same height as your shoulder, and then you're gonna place your elbow on the wall and you're gonna pull, you're gonna kind of twist your body away from your elbow. So you should feel an opening up through your chest, right? So for 30 seconds. All right, that's 30 seconds. Other side. All right, that's 30. So the next one is a standing quad stretch. I'm gonna start my timer. Reach for my ankle. What's important here is to keep your um, knee of your raised foot pointing towards the floor and the, your inner thighs pressed together. Okay. All right. Next, we're gonna go down to the mat. And we're gonna do our hip flexor stretch. So for this one, tilt your pelvis so that you're trying to uh, point your tailbone towards the opposite uh, wall there. And then just lean forward far enough till you feel a stretch in the front of your hip. Take some deep breaths and enjoy the stretch. All right, that's 30. Our next stretch is a hamstring stretch. So if you can, if you've got the flexibility, you can put your hands down to the floor um, or you can stay vertical and just uh, with a flat back, lean forward. Should be feeling a stretch in your hamstring. I've got my front foot flexed to get um, some extra stretch. And the other thing you'll notice is that I'm not, um, opening out my hips like this, I'm keeping my hips square. So uh, that's gonna get a really strong stretch in your hamstring. All right, so whether you're here or you're here, next thing you're gonna do is tuck your foot. So put your hands down on the mat, draw your, um, the front of your shin to a 45 degree angle across the mat. And then once again, try to square up your hips here so um, that you're not super open, so you're not um, sitting right on your uh, left hip um, with the right hip open, that in fact your right hip bone is sort of pointing at the ground. And then if you've got the flexibility, you might wanna bow forward and rest your head on your hands. Next one I like to call a taco stand. You don't have to call it that if you don't want to, but I do. So I'm just gonna stand up here. I'm gonna turn so you can see. Knees open, hands on the floor in front of me, and you can play around with where you are um, placing the weight in your hips. So, and now we're gonna go back up the other side. So I had my left 
foot forward in my pigeon stretch just now. So I'm going to bring my right foot forward 45 degrees across my mat. We're going to go back to our uh, hamstring stretch on the other side. So bring your foot forward, flexing the front foot, hip square, back up to the hip flexor stretch now on the other side. So tilting your pelvis and leaning forward for another 30 seconds. All right, I've got a twist for you. A couple of twists, actually. In this one, I want you to reach around. You're going to put your right leg over top of your left. Left leg stretched out in front. Uh, put your right knee into the crook of your left elbow and pull that across your body for a second and resist by kind of feeling like you're pulling your right hip back and away from your left elbow. You're going to feel a nice stretch through there. And then once you're there, sit up very straight, put your elbow in front, and then inhale to sit up straighter, exhale to twist. Every time you inhale, sit up a little straighter. Every time you exhale, twist a little more. Inhale to return to center. Okay, once I have done um, some crunchy stretches like that one where, where I'm kind of my um, hip flexors are, are shortened, I like to do this really nice hip opener. Um, I call it windshield wipers. And here's how I get into it. Okay, lie on my back, feet fat on the, feet fat on the floor. Uh, and all you want to do is windshield wiper your knees over to one side. So I've got my knees windshield wipered over to the right. Now I take my right foot and I tuck my right ankle over top of my left knee. This is optional. I make cactus arms and then I turn my head to the left. So I'm turning my head back so I can talk to you, but um, if you're kind of wiggling around in this stretch, try to straighten out your left side so that you feel that nice opening stretch in your left hip. Now windshield wiper them over to the other side. Tuck your left foot over your right knee. Oh, feels so good. And you're gonna turn your head and your gaze to the right, away from your knees. Sitting back up, one last stretch. Just a nice forward fold over your legs. This is a hamstring stretch and also your low back. So make sure that you're hinging from the hips. You're making a crease in your hips and sending your forehead forward and try to go as far as you can with a flat low back. And after about 15 seconds, if you want, you can round out and you can drop your head and just sit loose. Take some deep breaths. And feel really good about whatever workout it is that you just did. I usually sit in this position for way longer than 30 seconds because it feels good. But we're done for now. Great. Now you should be feeling cooled down and stretched out. And now that you're all cool, it's time to warm up again. So I'm going to put on my sweet custom Pivot Star hoodie from the nice folks at Pivot Star. It's all printed up with my stuff and it's got my custom colors. It's got my blue star and my red for my brand colors. And they can make you a custom one in your colors too, if you ask them real nice. So you can shop online for a hoodie like this at pivotstar.com. That's it for me for today's prehab flexibility training and off-skate workout cool down. That's a mouthful. Come back and see me again another time. But definitely, if you like this, then give it a like and share it with a friend. And think about subscribing to our newsletter so that every time I put out a new workout like this, that you get it straight into your inbox right away and you don't miss a thing. With that, I'm Booty Quake. I just kicked your ass. Now you can go kick somebody else's. Happy stretching!